So now we're at the healing oh, department. So we've got a uh, we've got a hot shot boot here. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us what's going on with this stage. Okay. So what he's going to do here is he's going to set the heel base, which is the leather piece first. He's going to use this tool that we've designed. And this is stacked leather of the mm -hmm. oak tan, the oak tan leather. Right. He's going to take the rubber cap off of it as soon as he gets it set. Now he's going to start nailing off the heel base first. So it's been critical that that stays put right, right. where you wanted it. Mm -hmm. Now those, I haven't seen those nails before. Are they tapered? Base nails? Can you show me one close up? Why is it, what's that shape for? A square. It also clinches when it yeah, comes in. Yeah, to, to clinch them. Right? You got to have it small at the end and big at the other end here so you can hammer it and see how it's kind of sharp. Yeah, I see that. It's like an old time nail. Yeah. So as the leather spreads open, it will eventually close onto the nail itself, onto the wider portion of the nail. So how many nails does it get? Ten total. Ten total. And it's a pattern. And we can tell that this is going to be a fire boot because it's got the red mark on the on the vibro. Yeah, this is an NFPA boot. Now your hammer is totally different than the other guys. It's got a kind of an almost an axe handle. What's that for? Is that for pulling? Or? Um, this is going to be for something I'll show you here after we. It's, it's for hitting this down in here after we put the cap on. There's sometimes little gaps down in here that we. Punching process. Yeah, that's not going to come off. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it sits straight. You don't want it leaning too in or too out. So you're eyeballing that? Yeah. Yeah, you, you want it to sit straight. You don't want it to sit down like this or out like this. And you want it to sit flat to where it doesn't rock back and forth. And I'm going to take this scratcher. Gotta scratch this really good because you gotta glue both ends and here I'm gonna blow this here, so sorry guys. This yellow German glue I think it's called. And why is there a hollow space in there? Then the ends here wouldn't seal. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Aren't okay, you smart? So, so the boot. Thank you. <laughs> we just cut to this boot, which is a different color. Uh, you're letting that dry, and you're right. just speeding it up and showing us this what the next step is. This has been drying for about a half hour. For a half so. hour. Okay, so it's roughed up. The contact cement is dried. Now you're going to stick the the heel cap on. To the base that we just yeah put on. Okay. So, and then what I want to do is not push it on there because I want to. You want to make sure it tilts out just a hair to the outside um, vamp here. Okay, just stay here. Then I can put it on there. And then I'm going to put in these 9 8 nails, rubber heel nails. The 9 8 nails are different. Yes. They're, they're more of a traditional nail. Yes. Okay. Which this hammer still works for, too. nicer than put the holes in there for you yeah yeah and they go all through a washer washers inside the cap which oh, built in yeah that way they won't pull through right and we notice we do all of them kind of like as an angle so, so as I was hitting right all the nails in yeah you notice I was kind of yeah yeah then I'll take this little hole puncher and you want to kind of do it hard because you don't want to see the nails so that's just a countersink. Huh? That's just a countersink. Yeah. Countersink. You guys make me nervous. <laughs> okay. So that's on there. And then like I said, for the back was when it's there, sometimes there's little gaps right here. Oh. Just sometimes, or in this case there isn't. But that's what we'd be using that for. Ah. Okay. So that's a real purpose-built tool there. Yes. Yes. 
So your tools, so what are the what are the markers for? These are for stamping the boots. That's another thing in line after. Okay. So I was gonna, do you want me to trim now? Yeah. Okay, and then once the cap's on, we take them over here. And I gotta have my eye protection for this. This is gonna be very loud. And there's a guy here that I'm gonna follow. Very, very dangerous machine, but as long as you follow the guy, you can't hurt yourself. Okay, it just takes off a lot of this. But I'm gonna go over here and save me time, you know. Then, so let me see a close-up of that. So that machine just basically just did a lot of work for you, right. knock, knocked off the big chunks. Basically, yes. Mm -hmm. um, these are what it would look like before I just sat it through there. So this is before yes. that machine, and that's after, yes. right there. Yeah. Saves a lot of time. Yeah, a lot of time. Mm -hmm. and then we would pull them here, and that's what this part of the armature is going at. Last comes right out of there. Oh! So you're the one that gets rid of that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it says 10 double E on the last, and we got to mark it up with the ticket. And it says 10 double E. So we're going to mark it 10 double E inside here with these little tools. Oh! Different hammer. Okay, smooth face. Yeah. And since this is the left boot, I'm going to put in the date. And why? Because we put in the date on all the left boots, just for when we, we make them. I guess they have warranties or resoles when you come back. And oh, okay. How long to rebuild them and stuff like that. So we have a date in there and we can tell. So for that one there, I'll put in 310 or 15. It's not 2010, right? Not I this will. year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and then that's stamped there. This goes in this over here. Probably not important. And this is returns back to inventory. Yep, that's where they take that back there and start building the new boots again. So this is the sander. So this is where you're, you're actually going to hand finish and hand shape yes. uh, the, the we're, contour of the heel. We're going to finish this up to the inking part. Done by eye. Yeah. All done by hand. So after the sanding, then you actually hand cut, hand, hand, tr hand trim, hand trim everything, all the way around. Now, not on shoes. These are just the boots. Just like that. And that's it. That's it. So they. Uh, Beautiful. There's that, that, Thank you. that you, you made that look easy, but I could tell that there's a lot of skill in that. Yeah. Because all, all that, there's, you don't have any jigs, you don't have any guides, it's hand finished. Yes. Yeah. Hand crafted. That's a, it's impressive. Well That's done. beautiful. Well done. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. The thing is, several stations, you've got these, what do you call this? Just uh, a jacks. A jacks, and it's got the pin in it, and that's what fits in the last. Right. So that's what holds the shoe so you can work securely. Right, right. And uh, that's how we put them on and take them off. You know, put them on. I can put this one right back on there that I took it off of. This is what we built this boot on. There's this last. I didn't realize that the last, it hinged, that, or you wouldn't be able to get it out. Right, right. Ah, so it kind of, it, it, act, it acts like a real foot. Right, exactly. That's, ah. you know, that's the custom made from all the way, you know, this last stays in these boots going all through the shoe, and it's fitted around that last, so it's for your feet. That's how you get consistency. Right. Right, wow, interesting. Yep, and, yep, huh. and then it comes off. Yep, it goes back on with it down. So, I was looking at all these heels, and um, you call this one here the Honey Vibe, yep. uh, and it's a little softer. This would be better geared for guys that are on their feet all the time and concrete. I think so. Yeah. Makes sense. Maybe wears a little bit faster, but a little more traction, kind of like a racing tire. Yeah. Okay. So that's, I never considered getting those, but uh, boy, if I worked in a shop, I'd have those for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're, pl okay. we're applying the ink dressing along the, the side of the raw leather at this point. We'll let it dry. So you said this is ink, it's not a dye? It, it's it's ink? an ink, it's a water-based ink. Okay. 
I'll bet that doesn't wash out. Mm, not really. <laughs> I go back over once over and I let it dry for a good half an hour or so. I take it after it's dry. I hit the bottom first. This along the sides. And I take it. And only on the blacks I do the uppers right here. I don't go up here. Because you don't want to get any leftover ink up on the. Yeah, then I'd have to spend extra time cleaning the eyes. And yeah. Stuff. Mm -hmm. I do it on the rebuilds. So. Oh. This is the shine. And that's it. And then this is just to make sure that it's sealed inside there. That's that. that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. That finishes off good. It doesn't seal right the glue and stuff because when the ink gets in there it'll stretch it apart if it's not sealed correctly. so this is part of quality control here too yep. it's gonna really show if something isn't right yep so you've got you've got your black wheel and you've yep. got your brown wheel because you don't want to get the black dye on the brown boots yeah and we have before and it's it's hard to clean up yeah I'll bet it is brown brown's not too hard to get off black. sure where's the blue wheel uh, we could make it blue. <laughs> 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 Put a little bit of wax on there, throw some ink in it. Uh, well, thank you for sharing. That's yeah, interesting. No All right, so here we are to the very last stage um, packaging. So, what's in the box? What's in the box is a set of laces we'll put down on inside. Good proper leather laces. Yep. And then we have a signature false, false tongue. Signature false tongue that goes inside the boot. When I box the boots, I'll lay one like this. And I like to take the other one, open up the leg. Stick the toe inside, stick the toe inside. That helps keep the form in the shape. Close the boot. And someone is about to be really, really happy. Absolutely. When they show up. That is quite a process. That was great, wasn't it? What a great series. Hey, do a favor for me. Um, Nix was very gracious in opening up their facility. Uh, to us letting us come through spending the whole day with us. I'm gonna put their email address down in the subject heading Even if you don't order a pair of boots, just go over there and thank them This is the first time a camera has been allowed to come in and to video this process and to share their boots and it was uh, We really appreciate that and, and they really stuck their necks out to do this. So if you would do that for me uh, I would appreciate it and thanks to Nix and your crew for being so accommodating and for producing such a fantastic product and staying true to quality and, and and making a boot as good as it can be made. So would you like to see Mrs. Wrangler Star get fit for her boots and myself as well the fitting process? Would you like to find out, cut through all of the Bravo Sierra and find out how you really truly break in a pair of boots? I'll tell you what, I have all that footage in the can. You give me 5,000 thumbs up on this video and I will make those for you. I'll show you the custom fit, how to lace, how to break in boots. I'm happy to do it. So again, thank you. Uh, thank you uh, to all of you who uh, take the time to watch this series and support the channel. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.